it's really hot in here. It's like 35 degrees Celsius outside. Welcome back everyone to Vintage Digital Watches. Yes, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but that's because I was away on my summer vacation. But I am back, so the videos will continue. And before we start off with this video, uh, I want to make an announcement. We are almost at 1000 subscribers and that is thanks to you uh, for watching my videos and supporting the channel. And I want to do a giveaway for that. And the thing that we are giving away is this nice Orient watch. Um, it is in pretty good condition. I had it restored. Uh, there is a small nick here in the glass, but that the rest of the glass is perfect. Gaskets have been changed. It's, it's in perfect working order. Uh, it has a nice bracelet, not Orient original, but it looks pretty good. So all you have to do to participate in this giveaway is answer the question and the uh, the answer will be in this video if you watch it until the end. Uh, so the question is name one uh, item from this video that is not a watch. And you'll see what I mean once we get rolling. So in today's video we are doing a pickups video. Uh, and that means I am showing you the items uh, that I got uh, in the past six months or so. Uh, and before we start off, I want to do a disclaimer. This is not me bragging about uh, what I bought. If you're a collector, you know you like to show to your peers uh, what cool watches uh, you've recently added to your collection. Moreover, I don't do this as much as I should on the Digital Watch Facebook group, so this is a nice opportunity for me uh, to show you some watches. Uh, and it will be helpful because I will show you the resources, well, the, the websites, from where I bought them from. I usually, uh, the watches that I want to get, I never pay market value for them. Uh, I stock them and uh, when I find a right price that is below market, let's say, even if I want it and if it's 10% below market value, I will get it. So that will be interesting. I will add uh, the auctions and uh, the places that I bought them from. So. Without further ado, let's start off with the watches from uh, Yahoo Auction Japan. And we'll start off with the Citizen Ana Digitemp. And uh, this watch was, and I have a list, a list of prices right in front of me, so if I'm not looking at the camera, that's why. So this watch was 5,000 yen, um, and I will insert the, the auction here, which is around $45. Uh, this has been in one of my videos and the problem with it was that one of the seconds uh, dials was clogged up. Uh, there's a fixed video if you want to look at that, but yeah, this was $45. The items from Yahoo Auction Japan, you can add about, let's say, uh, $20 to $25 for shipping and handling and the service that they charge. So yeah, nice watch. Uh, I want three Ana Digi Temps. There are three versions that I want. I have the two, two of them. There is one more I'm looking for. So yeah, pretty cool watch. Uh, the next watch is the Ana Digi Temp Independent. Um, and this is the Citizen Ana Digi Temp uh, uh, mechanism or module, if you want, in an independent case. Independent are a brand that I at one point want to review because they are so cool. They do cool watches. Uh, they also, co they mostly collaborate with Citizen. But I really wanted this one, just look at it. It's so nice. When I saw it, I didn't know it come, it came with the box and paper. It was 5,900 yen, which is around $53. Uh, and if you look online for these ones, somebody is selling them on eBay and I will insert the auction here so you can see what I mean. I think they're charging somewhere beyond $200 for this. So pretty stoked about getting this one. The next item is also from Yahoo Auction Japan. And there is this Seiko Silver Wave. Uh, it's uh, Seiko D138, the Silver Wave version, uh, which makes it even more better. Uh, this was 4,900, 4,900 yen. 
uh, which is around $44. Uh, this was a watch that I'm looking for and uh, it's advertised as non-working, uh, but all the other ones, the Citizen Independent and the Anadigi was advertised the same way. And I bet if I insert the battery in it, it will work. So stay tuned until the end of the video uh, when I'm going to insert a battery in this and see if it works. Uh, nonetheless, very, very nice watch. And that concludes the items from Yahoo Auction Japan. Now we're going to move on to uh, items that I bought from different sites. And that is this Orient 64100. You know, uh, I have a soft spot, let's say, for this one, for these ones. Um, and this cost me 20 euros and it was, uh, it badly needed a restoration, uh, restore job. Uh, actually, I have for this one, the box papers and I bought it from the original owner. I think it, he bought it in 76. So uh, it also has a story behind, but I can't believe 20 euros. Uh, I will insert before images just so you know how it came. Uh, I managed to restore it by using uh, the LCD. That was the part that was broken. Also, it needed a new glass. Um, and uh, I got the LCD from an Orion that I had for parts, which had a bad module and it was a perfect match for this one. So yeah, 20 euros. This is, I think by far the best deal I have here right now. Love it so much, I wore it on my vacation, uh, except for the times when I went into the water. Uh, okay, so that's from uh, Kleinenzeigen eBay. That's a site, a German site that is uh, somehow a sister site to eBay. Uh, it has some cool stuff. It doesn't have buy protection, so you've got to be careful what you buy from there. Next item is something that I bought from a local buy and sell website here. And that is this Citizen 591092. Uh, very hard to remember this serial number. Um, it cost me $30. It was advertised as non-working. All it needed was a clean inside and it just started working. It was $30. And if you remember my video where I had those, uh, that big box of tags, I found a tag for it. So uh, it was a match made in heaven thick glass, just the way I like them. Cool watch, very cool. Okay, so now we are moving on to the items from uh, eBay. Uh, and we'll start off with this Seiko A128. So uh, yeah, this is a Seiko A128. Uh, it was advertised as non-working and uh, the seller had it for uh, the seller had it for a higher price and I offered him 25 euros and he accepted. And this watch, uh, I haven't tested it, so stay tuned until the end when I'm going to try batteries in this one as well. Um, I, I don't think it was worn much because on the back you can see it, it has, uh, the back is still, uh, it hasn't been shined uh, by uh, the times the, when you wore the watch. So. Um, it's in pretty good condition. That That's what attracted me. I, I wasn't looking for this model specifically, but when I accidentally stumbled upon it, uh, I just had to ask if he accepted an offer and he did, so I got it for 25 euros. Next item is, well, I bought two of these because I think they're going to run out and these are um, Casio DBC 3063 cases and uh, <laughs> they are new and there is a guy and I'm going to insert the auction here you will see his name there uh, he sells a bunch of parts original Casio parts I previously bought from him so uh, in checking them in detail they are original so uh, why I bought these cases is because I frequently stumble upon even on, uh, on flea markets these modules with a very damaged case it, uh, and by using these I can actually make a watch which is going to be in super good condition. They give you also the original bands. 
So yeah, these uh, I bought two, but one of these will cost you $19 delivered. Um, and uh, he used to have them for $14, but now he has them for 19. Why not get two? One I will wear, one I will keep in the collection. And uh, I think they will run out pretty fast. So uh, if you already have a watch like this, just change the case. It's a quick job and you have a nice one. Um, the next item is a Seiko that I have been looking for a while. Uh, and it was on my list. I wasn't, uh, I didn't even have it in my, had it in my saved search, but it's the Seiko D229. And uh, this has only two buttons and it's settable from the crown. Uh, sorry, it has, well, it has the buttons on the front as well. But the nice thing about it is that you can set it from the crown. Uh, if you look online for prices, these tend to be fairly expensive, especially if you get the silver wave version. Uh, this is not. So it was advertised as non-working. The guy uh, is a big watch seller on eBay. Uh, he sells a bunch of watches. I think he just, uh, I don't know if he tries batteries and all of them, but this one was advertised as non-working. I even started when I received it doing a repair video, but when inserting the battery in it, it worked instantaneously. So yeah, uh, this was 15 euros plus shipping, but still, this is a super, super good deal. Um, all in working condition. Yeah, um, what, what do you want more? Super happy with it. Okay, next item is uh, the most expensive item out of this uh, bunch that I'm showing you right now. And that is, and I bet many of you will know what it is, uh, you'll know about this watch, is the Seiko C515. And this is one of their more iconic calculator watches and it's all metal. And just look at the condition this is in. I have seen these listed on eBay for the $300. Uh, it was an auction listed as non-working and I paid 101 euros uh, plus shipping. Um, I didn't know if I made a good deal at that time, but when it received, I the condition is super it's, it's in pristine condition uh in my opinion very happy with it all it needed was a clean of the zebra strip that contacts from the buttons to the module and everything just works on it yeah uh, i'll do a review on this at some point okay so now we are moving on to the items that aren't watches but they are watch related and the uh, hint these are the answers in the video uh, to participate in the giveaway. And the first one is, uh, I bought this simply stunning Citizen Christron watch sign, uh, dealer sign. Uh, and it's made in Japan. It says here on the back, made in Japan. But it just, just look at this. This was displayed in a dealer's window. It says Citizen Quartz Christron. Uh, and you have the Citizen logo right at the bottom. Uh, the, the seller had it up for $69, I believe, uh, and he accepted $33. Uh, a friend uh, carried it for me from the US, uh, and I am going to display it somewhere, maybe add some light on the top, but uh, this one is the one I like to look at the most out of this bunch. So. Look at it. Just look at this. Such good condition. Okay, so the last item, uh, as I said, from the bunch that are not uh, exactly watches, but they are watch related. So this is the first LED item in my collection. And that is the, the <laughs> CalcuPen. So this is a calculator pen. Um, I think it's from the 70s or some, some time that period. And yes, it has these buttons. If you press on their edges, you will do calculations. And the way you turn it on is you twist here and you can see turned on. 
Now the buttons are a little twitchy, so um, yeah, they, they, they responded in this case. Um, I don't know how it's assembled, I don't want to disassemble it. It was listed as not working, all it needed was a new battery. Uh, it, was, it was 20 euros plus shipping and it also has a pen. If you twist here at the end, you will see it comes up and I think, yeah, it, it works. Yeah, the pen works, but <laughs> the calculator is the part that uh, excites me the most. Very interesting and an oddball item from the 70s. Um, I like it a lot, I have to tell you. I don't know if this is my path to LED watches, but it's a start. Okay, so the video doesn't end here, but these are the items from the video. Now we are going to go to the bench and test out if these two watches um, actually work uh, if we pop in a battery. I think they will because this is one from this one is from Japan and this one is in too good condition not to work. Uh, no signs of corrosion around the buttons. Uh, so I will do my thank you for watching this video here. If you like watch stuff, I will insert right now on the screen some uh, YouTube channels and some Facebook groups that I know you are going to like. Do visit them, do subscribe to them. Um, they are a world of information. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, yeah, let's pop in those batteries right now. Let's see. We'll do the Seiko first. Let's see if I have a suitable battery here. So that's not the same size, but I will just prop it with my finger. And yeah, <laughs> it does work. What do you know? Super. And now I really want to see if uh, this one works because this is uh, an expensive watch. If you want to buy it as a working condition item. SR1120 battery. Uh, I don't think I have one of these here. Right, so clean table. And uh, that's the problem with having open batteries around. You never know if they still hold the charge. Yes, this one is good, 1.5. And does display some mumbo jumbo so this will be definitely a good candidate for a fixed video and uh, yeah those are the pickups